Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. Welcome back to another episode of the Daily Slay. Uh, this is the fourth one that we've done. Uh, it was silent, silent, defect. We've gone uh, two wins, one loss. This one might might even us out, I don't know. But we're playing as the defect again. Uh, the modifiers are shiny, so starting deck is replaced with one of every rare card. Big game hunter, so elite enemies are now swarming the spire and they drop better rewards. Uh, and whenever you enter a new room, you lose one max HP. So, you, but you start each combat with five plated armor. Okay, interesting. So, I guess we probably want to hunt elites. Um, the rare cards can be good, but maybe expensive. So, we probably want to get mana, potentially. And then, uh, or energy, I should say. And then, with terminal, HP loss is going to be kicking in. Uh, so that's going to be, like, very delicate. I mean, who knows? This could be a disaster. I'm going to try- we're going to try our best here. Let's pick somebody that we're going to aim for. Uh, Lost Depths. Lost Depths, coming at you. Alright? That's- this is the goal. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Let's rock and roll. Okay. So, Elites. I got one over here. I got two in through this way. Three on that path. Uh, four if I go up through here. So I think that's the approach we're going to take. It feels ballsy, but uh, once we take out this one, we'll see how we're doing. If we if we need to, if we have money, we can go here. If we need to rest, we'll go here, and we can still take on uh, the same number. So that doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, alright, so let's get started, and we can maybe take a fight and then a question mark, but each additional room, because of uh, terminal, each additional visit means we lose the HP, so we also want to be as, like, efficient working through here. Um, so let's start here instead. Okay, so what is our entire deck made of? This is made of all uh, rare cards, one of every rare card. So, we have things like Buffer, which can prevent HP loss. Uh, we have Hyper Beam for tons of damage. We have Bias Cognition for a bunch of focus, but then we start losing it. Seek is really nice. We saw that in the last run. Uh, Electrodynamics is good. All for One is decent if we have zero cards, but we don't really have any. Uh, Reboot's not bad. Amplify to play things twice. Okay. 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 What do we got going on here? So, Meteor Strike isn't going to happen. Echo Form is really dirty. It's re it's a really great card. Um, but, I guess if we play this, we're going to tank some damage here. We could try and block it. But we just don't have a lot of... We don't have a lot of damage mitigation, really. So, I think I have to play Echo Form here. It's so good. We do have the plated armor, so we're going to block uh, five each round if we want. Now, what's going to get played twice? Um, I guess Rainbow isn't terrible. Oh, or here. We just Hyper Beam, and we just kill everything. So that's an interesting combo. I got to remember that. So we've got Hyper Beam uh, for, like, lower health enemies uh, comboed up with Echo Form, which is pretty cool. Um... Yeah, okay. Interesting. Regen. What else do we want to take here? I think some block is good. If we have zero block, gain 11 for the cost of one. But Glacier, gain nine block and two frost. The problem is, is it's so expensive. I think I'm going to go auto shields here. I don't think I've ever seen that card. Alright. Anything I want to remove right now? Is there anything that would like clutter this up? I think eventually, if we can start channeling in um, some more energy, then this is pretty good. So I don't know that I want to ditch that yet. Um, creative AI could be decent. I actually think all for one might be a good one to ditch. Might be a good one to get rid of. Because we do not have very many zero cards. This gets exhausted, this gets exhausted. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna clean that out of here. Just get rid of it. Everything else is kind of out of our price range anyway. Panache would be tough to play. Yeah. Storm is probably nice. Alright. 
Upgrade two random cards, lose 14 HP. Well, HP is at a premium. Uh, I think I'm going to pass that right now. We don't have control over what we're upgrading. I think we pass on it. Let's be efficient. We'll work probably through here, but we'll see how this fight goes. All right. What do we want to channel in here? Draw an additional card at the start. 25 damage, but lose focus. That's a lot of damage. I think we go machine learning, we channel these in. So we get a little bit of extra block on top of the five plated armor. All right. We could channel in two more lightning, trigger that block, but I think we want to just go damage here. I could go Echo Form, knowing that the next one's going to get played twice, but we... I guess Buffer is coming up, which could buy us a little bit of time. Core Surge is really nice as well for 11. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to channel in... Uh, elect I'm going to go Electrodynamics, and... Oh, I should have I should have played that in reverse. <laughs> I should have played that in reverse, 100%. But now he's gonna- he's dead at the end of this turn anyways, from the passives. So I think it's fine. Uh, but, if I were to play this out, I would go something like Amplify and then Buffer. And- oh! Oh, that's right. And Amplify would've got played twice. So the next two powers that we play, that's cool. Alright, so I'm gonna have to keep that in mind, but... Oh! Did I miscalculate that? Oh, I did miscalculate that. My bad. My bad. Okay. Um, 10 damage to all enemies in the dark. I'm just, I'm so worried about these costs right now. I think cool headed, channel in a frost and uh, draw a card isn't too bad. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Do I want to lose three focus? Not totally, but it's so much damage. It's really hard to, to pass that up. Um, this doesn't work as I don't have a power that I can play. So I guess... I guess I'm just going to go creative AI here. This is going to be a weird one, man. This is going to be a weird one. Whenever you take attack damage, channel a lightning. I could just channel in two lightning. I don't really care about the additional power there. Or I can echo form, and we're going to block most of this anyways. Yeah, let's do it. Let's echo form. All right. We can evoke this uh, three times. That's not going to do it for us, is it? Nope. Uh, what would I seek out? Oh, I think we seek out buffer, but it is going to play it twice. Um, so we'd seek out buffer and like maybe bias cognition. Play both of those. Let's do that for this round. This is going to hit a little bit harder. Okay, there's a defrag. I think we want to just block a bunch of this. So, like, auto shields here. We'll defrag. And let's channel in a frost. If I evoke this three times, that's 33. And that should be fine. 
There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Deal 8 damage. Place the next card you play this turn on top of your draw pile. It's pretty good. Uh, here's some energy gain, I think, that we could benefit from. Alright. This could hurt us, but let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Ooh, this is... Ooh, this is nice. I think I go Amplify and then Electrodynamics right off the bat. We're going to channel in a bunch of lightning. And it's going to hit everything. Yeah, that's pretty nice, actually. Okay. If I do this, it's going to trigger all of these guys. And then I could maybe go, like... If I go auto shields, we'll have 15 block, which is pretty good. It really depends on how these go out. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that was way more than I accounted for. Okay, cool. Whenever you would deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. That's fine, I guess. Weak is good. And... Hmm. I think we'll take another Seek here. Seeks are really helpful. Alright, 99... I don't think I need to um, to rest, but we could upgrade a card. We could go for an upgrade here. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's upgrade a card. What's going to be really important here? Hyperbeam buffed is really nice. Uh, being able to draw two cards is good. What else? Next two powers are played twice. Having Echo Form not be ethereal is quite good. It doesn't force us to play it. Electrodynamics Plus. Oh, there's a lot of great options here. I think I'm going to take Seek, though. Because then we can bring out multiple of whatever. Let's do that. This might be a, a little bit of a callback to the last run that we did, but... Oh, boy. This guy's going to hit real hard. <laughs> uh, this combo is kind of cool. This combo is kind of cool. We do have a week for him. So I think let's throw this on. All right. So he's got 14 damage coming in hot. Whenever we play a skill, he's going to get stronger. Um, if I do 25 damage to everything, we lose all that focus. That doesn't really help me. We could go Fission, and we would get 24 damage out. We could use Auto Shields. I think we throw this on. And uh, he's going to get a bit stronger here. If I play Auto Shields... I'm going to go for this. Let's put this damage out. And I'll actually go charge battery so we get the energy. And then we have the uh, plated armor block. So it's not too bad. Okay. If we want... 7 damage. That's 30... Oh, that's perfect. 35 damage right there. Beautiful. 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 Ice cream. Oh! Oh! That's really nice. That's really nice. Energy is now conserved between turns. That's really good. Okay. Um, that could make something like Meteor Strike very possible. Especially when we're ch if we channel in Plasma. If we save up a bit, throw this down. Pla uh, plasma is channeled in. But we already have one. It's pretty expensive. I don't know if we want two. Um, multicast could be good. We do have a lot of power cards. You know what? I'm going to take Amplify. Combos nicely with quite a few things. Okay, so if I go through here, through this path, uh, we would have a rest right away, or I can go through this direction. What's, like, the safest way to get there? 
I actually think it's here. We take this direction, elite, then we can rest if we need to. Elite, and then two regular fights, and then maybe another rest, but... If we can get through without... Oh. Ooh. Bottle Lightning. What do we want to guarantee that we get here? I don't know, man. Probably the Seek. I think we take the Seek Plus. We just guarantee that we get that, and then we can bring in whatever we want. We could constantly do that um, Amplify um, Lightning thing. Where is it? Amplify Electrodynamics. That could work. That seems like a pretty good combo. I don't know if it's amazing, but it's a decent way to start and just get a bunch of things flowing. Yeah. Okay, buddy. So we can actually play this a little bit slower if we want. Uh, because he's not going to wake up for three turns. If I wanted to, I could play Creative AI. If I do the Seek and channel in a bunch of lightning, then it's going to wake him up. So we might want to just try and, like, do some buffs here, maybe. I could channel in, like, uh... I keep saying channeling in. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying cha I'm not channeling anything in here. I'm bringing in... I could bring in an Echo Form. And get that played right now. Uh, but then there's not much else I'll be able to play off of that. Hmm. You know what? I think I am going to bring in... I think I am going to bring in the Amplify and the... It's tempting to get Buffer because we prevent two attacks. But this channel's in that extra lightning, which is, like, constantly doing damage. I'm gonna- I'm gonna play it safe. And I'm bringing in Amplify and a Buffer. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. We can do, uh, Machine Learning. Actually, we can go Amplify Machine Learning as well. So we're going to get extra cards drawing. We have ice cream, so let's save this energy. And he's going to wake up next, so... We didn't get the echo form. That would have been really nice to get here. So let me think about what we want to do. I I play Bias Cognition, but I'm not sure that I can get everything in that I would hope. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll carry over this energy to the next turn. And then we, we might even have, like, a Meteor Strike could be drawn. Or maybe I'll do this. Bring in one Lightning. It's not going to wake him. Because it's just going to hit that 8. That way we have, like, a little bit more brewing, you know? That does make this a little bit more interesting to play now, though. I think we, we're going to go for a kill in four turns, I think. That's fine. Okay. So I can block some of this. We'd block 12 there. I can even go like... I could go Echo Form. Actually, we're going to block. We're going to prevent the next two times we lose HP. So we should probably just go Ham here. We should do as much damage as we can. Um, by channeling and Lightning, it's pretty nice. When this triggers, that'll be... Oh, this could actually work. If we trigger this twice, that's 32.
You know what? Yeah, let's go. Okay. We still have another block available to us. Next power is played twice. Ooh, don't know about that. Is there anything we want to seek out of here? Thunderstrike, maybe? Because there's nothing I really want to do with Amplify. Um, yeah, let's do this. And then he's going to take the 10. Now we just need more damage. Can we get more damage? Yeah, here we go. All right, all right, all right. Okay, gain 30 gold. You're 10% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms. And more plated armor. Sounds good to me. Um, this isn't bad. It's a, it's a heavy... It's a heavy attack. It's a heavy attack. Um, for one. I, th I think I'm going to skip. None of those are like, oh my god, you have to have these. In my opinion. We do get a free upgrade here now, though. Um, what's going to be super clutch for us? I can make this a Seek Plus as well. Or we can go Buffer. So that if we want to, we could go uh, Amplify into Double Buffer at the beginning of a turn. So we have four times. You know what? I'm going to actually do that. So we'd have four times where we're protected. Um, against groups, that's not amazing, but against big guys, it really is. So I guess we can make that decision, but at least we have the option. All right. So, uh, here's an example where I kind of feel like if we do bring in, or if we do the hyper beam, like it gets already super low, but this, we have to cycle through and hit this. We don't want to hit this now. We don't even need to use Seek to play the Amplify Buffer combo that we just talked about. Um, but I think Electrodynamics might actually be better. So I'm going to bring that in. And then I'm not going to have enough to bring anything else. So... What card can I just get rid of right now? You know what? I'll bring in Electrodynamics, and I'll bring in the Meteor Strike, because I'm not going to be able to play this for a little bit until we at least cycle through once. I think that's all right. Um, you know what? Let's throw on the plated armor here as well. We'll block all of it. And then next turn, they basically... They're toast. I think. If we gain four focus here, they're very strong. Actually, uh, if we... If we were to amplify and then... Bias Cognition here. Yeah. Well, we're gonna kill... Two of them. Hopefully it's these two. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, is there anything else? If I redraw... You know what? Yeah, let's actually do this. Let's shuffle everything in. See if I can get anything for one. Nothing. Nothing! Alright, it was a good try. Oh, right! But you know what I keep forgetting? I keep forgetting that uh, uh, that this triggers all this hits all enemies now. That's why I'm I'm uh, mathing incorrectly. Bottle tornado. Choose a power card to bring in. Ooh, this is interesting. <laughs> if I bring in electrodynamics, I don't even need to use the seek to get it, and I could seek for other stuff. Like I could guarantee the I could bring in an amplify and. I don't know, it's tough because... Yeah, it's, it's tough. The buffer is a nice, like, sure thing to have. 
But I can bring it in with Seek anyway, so either way it doesn't really matter. What I bring in, because we have the Seek ability. Let's do this one. Hmm. We already have a couple of these. I'm going to pass. Alright. I mean, Hyper Beam right here is pretty disgusting. It's pretty gross. And then I could seek and bring in uh, Core Surge and kill. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's an interesting way of doing it, I guess. Gain 2 Focus is really good. Okay, what do we have here? Ball Lightning. Deal 7 damage and channel in that Lightning. Uh, gain 3 block. Return a card from your discard pile to your hand. Hologram. Or gain block equal to the number of cards in your discard pile. Um, both are pretty good. But I think if we want... I think Lightning Man. I think that's our way to go. So this is going to be a pretty standard draw. Where we're going to get Seek, Electrodynamics. <laughs> uh, I mean, Buffer seems to be here all the time. Um, I guess we want to seek out an Amplify, though. Right? So why don't I just play this one? Because I'm only going to Amplify this and go uh, Electrodynamics, which will be good in the later rounds here. What I'm really going to need is to focus on uh, getting energy. That's what I'm going to need. Okay, let me bring in an Amplify. Alright. Now he's going to split at the end of this turn. Uh, we need to take him down to 33, so yeah, he's going to split for sure. I could channel in one of each, but I think the lightning proccing on everything is better. Man, do I even... Hmm. I'm just going to do this. Get him as low as I can. And we'll save that energy. Yeah, now he's going to split into two 11s. And he's... He's dead. At the end of this, basically. Uh, yeah, if we evoke this, he's definitely screwed. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm starting to see how it can happen. Now. Uh, force field could be quite good, actually. That would get down to zero relatively quickly. Especially because we would do, like, amplify it into another power right at the beginning. So that's counting as two. Um, so that's like a free 12 block. Basically. Whenever it comes up. But the energy is nice, too. Hmm. You know, I'm going to take Force Field. Might regret it, but we'll see. Alright, what else do we want to upgrade here? 32 damage across the board isn't bad. I think we're playing Electrodynamics all the time. So let's, let's buff this bad boy. Yeah. All right, cool. What do we got here? Mr. Mode Shift. Is that right? Okay, so let's seek in an Amplify here. And we'll bring in... Something expensive, like Meteor Strike, I think, is a, is a ditch card for right now. If we can't get our basic one. Look at that. Oh my god. That's pretty cool. And we're not going to take the thorns damage because we're not playing attacks. So... It's pretty good. I can take this 9 damage. I think I just throw down Echo Form here. I'm fine with this. Alright, now what do we want to get played twice? 
We could go like double buffer here, but oh, this could this is a quad buffer technically. Um, and then we could go auto shields too. So he would remove two even if we do um, even if we do auto shields. But still pretty good. So we got quad buffer. And it, I I don't know. That's okay. I could have maybe argued for cool headed to get the frost in, but I think the lightning procs are pretty helpful. Um yeah, that's fine. Oh wait, did I misinterpret that? I thought his first attack was going to do uh, enough to, to trigger one of these. And then the second attack would trigger and do another one. Maybe I misinterpreted that. Okay. I could channel in seven... <laughs> this is a lot of damage, but it's, it's not kill potential yet. We do have the force field now, which is working out pretty nicely. Uh, this turn, your next power is played twice. So I could go, like, amplify into bias cognition. And then force field. And then these are hitting... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and actually, amplify is going to get played twice. So if I do this, I don't have another power that gets played twice, so that's kind of wasted. So I might as well just play uh, bias cognition, which echo forms twice. And then I can force field. I could even, I could even multicast here if I want. So now these are triggering all the time. If I evoke this twice, it's going to take 32, which is pretty good. But I think we just leave these in here and carry over the, the energy. We still have two more buffers as well. If I multicast this, I think he dies. 14 times 10. It's 140. Yeah, he doesn't die, actually. Because this would be evoked 10 times because of this. But it's a ton of damage. That's a ton of damage. I think we do it, especially because he's blocking here. If I wanted to, I could have used his focus potion too. Oh, that did go through two of them. That's right. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't proc just on the first one. It moves it moves the second one in as well. But either way, we're in a pretty good spot here. Well, I think this is the play. All right. What do we want here? Uh, do we want another echo form? It's tempting. Another multicast. Hmm. What are we lacking right now? I actually think I'm just gonna skip this, you guys. It's I don't know if that's crazy. When you open up a non-boss chest, obtain a curse, but we get energy, which we really need. We don't want the enemies to have more strength. And we don't want to draw more cards and confuse. We take Curse Key here, for sure. That's helping our energy crisis. Alright. So, we need a pretty direct path here. Uh, we have some money to spend, so I want to hit this. And then we have an Elite. Uh, see what happens here. Either take, take on another Elite. Yeah, okay. We'll head through that middle section, I think. Uh, maybe the safer path is to actually take this one where we have the rest on either side of the elite. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. So, we open up a little bit extra, we open up a couple of extra possibilities now.
We're definitely going to go electrodynamics here, but I think we'll bring in an amplify for it. And then we want to bring in another, like, one cost, probably auto shields, actually. Let's do that. So we go uh, amplify electrodynamics. And actually, yeah, they're not going to quite die, but we're going to block majority of this. If I channel it, yeah, I think we're okay. We can take four damage, I hope. Let's just get these all going. All right. Uh, boot sequence. Some block right at the start is never a terrible thing. Sweeping beam isn't bad. This would guarantee that we start with this. Makes our first hand very reliable. Um, doesn't mean we need to play it. But we, we have it as like a backup. You know, it's like, okay, I gotta do something gnarly here. Now, what did we pick up earlier? Uh, gain 30 gold, you're 10% more likely to find treasure in these rooms. So we should probably check these. Lose 30% max HP, can't do it. Can't do it. 85 gold for a relic, seems fine. I'm a bit worried because here we want to we wanna have close to um, like 300, some of the best ones. I'm going to ignore him. I'm going to make my own spending decisions. All right. See, like right here, boot sequence is beautiful. Very, very nice to have. Uh, we already have the amplifying, the electrodynamics. Um, I could even... I could even let boot, se boot sequence just go and play the charged battery so I get extra energy next turn. But because we have ice cream, it doesn't really matter if we do it that way. So we'll go uh, Amplify, Electrodynamics. And then we'll go... Boot Sequence to block everything. And we'll just let these ones go through, I think. Is there anything that was worth one that I'd want to re really bring back? Not really. No. All right, we got Amplify Buffer, which is really playing it safe, but I don't see a downside to playing it safe, to be honest. And it's the double buffer, which is even dirtier. Here's our block, Force Field. And we could draw an additional card. But I'm actually going to save this, because if we get, like, a Meteor Strike or something, that would be pretty helpful here. So I'm going to, like, take this up to six and see how we do. We didn't get it, but that's okay. We can, uh, we can Thunder Strike. We can Evoke... We can actually, yeah, let's do this. Let's see how far this gets us. And then we can uh, use this to kill him off. Cool, 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 cool. Now, uh, Recycle could be really helpful for us, especially if it comes up with like Meteor Strike, but that's asking for a pretty specific combo. There are a lot of others, like if we get Force Field really early or Creative AI, um, those are recyclable ones. Does it have to exhaust the card? It does. It's... it's... It could be really good for energy. And if we're not... If we run into a card that we're just not using, even a two, it's not bad. You gain an extra energy. All right. What do we got here? Enlightenment. Reduce the cost of cards in your hand to one this turn. That's exceptional. Loop is pretty nice. Whenever you use a potion, heal 3 HP. 
Uh, pen nib doesn't really help us. Your rightmost orb triggers its passive an additional time. Hmm. I can't get both. But I think with some of these higher cost cards, we're, we have a lot of twos. I think enlightenment's the way to go. Let's do that. And is there anything I want to remove? Is there anything I'm just like very meh about? I feel like creative AI, I'm very like, meh, it's all right. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just not seeing its full potential yet, you know? We don't have any basics to remove. Every other card I can I can see value in. Let's see. Do any energy stuff? This one, yeah. I think loop isn't bad. So we get the extra procs. We just don't do enough, like, straight up attacks, so. Okay. Let's do another upgrade. Thunderstrike's been really good to us. Uh, that stacks pretty nicely. Bias Cognition is really good if we uh, amplify it. Um, what else? Loop upgraded is kind of good. Having Recycle be a zero cost is really nice, actually. Reduce the, co the cost of cards in your hand to, or in your hand to one this entire combat. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, they're hitting pretty hard here. Like 32 damage, if my math is correct. Is it? 25, 7, yeah, 32. Okay. Well, Amplify, Electrodynamics, Boot Sequence, Ball Lightning for Block. Or, sorry, uh, for more Lightning. Yep. Um... We'll try and weaken, like, the lowest guy so that maybe we can kill one. There we go. We'll block 18, which is pretty close to being awesome. Actually, he's gonna be dead. We're gonna block all of it. Oh, he's not gonna be dead. I miscounted again. Shocking, I know. Alright, they're dead. Ancient T. Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with extra energy. Hey, that's not bad. Some uh, plated armor there. Ooh. Yeah, I, I'm really liking what Electrodynamics is doing. I'm really liking it. So if I go in here, next combat we get extra energy. And we get to upgrade. So why don't I just upgrade the one that we just got? Let's go Electrodynamics Plus. Ooh, what was that? If transformed or removed from your deck, lose 3 HP. 3 max HP, that sucks. Every 5 turn gain an intangible, though. It's pretty good. So how are we looking? I don't know if I'm going to commit to 2 elites here. Let's see how this one goes, then we have the option, whereas this one I, like, have to take it. I hate these guys, but... But... It could be worse. So we have the extra energy to start. Um, I'm going to seek... And what if I brought in... If I brought in a Meteor Strike, uh, that would kill one of them. And I get a whole bunch of energy flowing. Right? But... Uh, all I could play is Meteor Strike. I wouldn't be able to get Electrodynamics going, which I really want in this group. I think I could bring in Enlightenment here. Uh, oh, yeah. Here's what we do. We bring in... Uh... Wait, hold on. If I bring in Enlightenment 
and Meteor Strike. I play Enlightenment. Electrodynamics is free. Cool headed, I draw something else. Um, Meteor Strike is free. We get a whole bunch of energy going. Yeah, let's let's try this. Yeah, okay, so let's throw that down. We want to go Electrodynamics. I'm going to... We want to go in the right order, so we want to go like Auto Shields, um, Cool Headed, Meteor Strike. I kind of feel like there's a pretty good chance that when these proc, they'd hit these guys, so I think I'm going to deal the damage to him. Oh yeah, no, the... I keep forgetting Electro, man. I keep forgetting Electro hits everything. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Um, now I don't even need to play this. I don't need to block anything. Let's draw a card and see what we get. That's not bad. Alright, so we know what he wants to do here. I don't have a power. I could reboot this, which I think I'm going to do. And then we can go into... We can go into Fission, actually, which isn't bad. And then we got Echo Form. We can buffer for two. And then we'll hold the... Well, actually, you know what? Let's do the damage here. Let's do the damage. I got Electrodynamics back. That's beautiful. And with Echo Form, that's pretty disgusting. Um, do I want more Lightning or more Focus on each Lightning? Because I could play this twice. And then play this. We also have the Meteor Strike. I'm not sure what's better to do. Gain a whole bunch of focus and channel this in once. Or channel in six lightning right off the bat. And then have them all hit harder at the end. I'm going to channel in six lightning. Uh, we'll gain focus here. 25 damage. This could be... Yeah, okay. This is where we, we just kill him. 24 here. Yeah. that's He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Dead branch. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a random card to your hand. That's not bad, because we got Seek right off the bat, too. Okay. Do we take another Seek? I think we're good on that. Creative AI, meh. And this doesn't... I don't know. And we're going to pass. Alright, let's fight, Snake. Don't really need to use any of these. Is there like any one cost that I really want to bring in? I mean, no, not really. But you know what I should be doing? Okay, so here's what I need to be doing. With that Seek, because we start with the four energy, yeah, I gotta be bringing in an Amplify and this Enlightenment so that, uh, yeah, that's my, that's my new thing I gotta bring in. Get that enlightenment early so that when we cycle through, we can just play them for cheaper. Now we got confusion, which really sucks, but we have the intangible from incense burner kicking in. Um, if we evoke this five times, that's quite a bit. It's going to evoke both, though. Uh, so that would be five times eight, so 40. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Alright. 
Here's the focus. This actually kind of worked out for us. Um, he's going to take 14. Let me gain the plated armor here. I really don't have a good way of, like, doing anything here. You know, and we're vulnerable, so he's gonna he's even hitting a bit harder. I'm gonna throw all my thorns here. I mean, we're gonna be okay. Static discharge. Whenever we take the damage, channel a lightning. We can kill him. Alright. Sweeping beam, 9 damage to everybody and a draw. Evoke. Channel of plasma. Kind of expensive. You know what? I'm gonna, until I see like a huge defect in our deck, I'm just gonna focus on what's working here. Um, I think we're in an okay spot to fight the elite here. Oh, another one. That's right. These curse keys. Negate the next two curses, though. So I guess we'll take those two and... Alright. Alright, so let's... Here we go. We got enlightenment. But... Actually, <laughs> we got both the electrodynamics as well. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. I misplayed it. I misplayed it. I should have brought in, like, expensive cards, then used it. Silly me. Um, so if I bring in... Amplify... It's gonna play... We can play Amplify, Electro, and this, and then we need another one for one. Um, maybe, like, a Ball Lightning? Or, you know what? Bias Cognition here is pretty good. What just triggered there? Oh, because we exhausted. Right. Okay. It's really tough for me to decide which one of these is better. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta sit down and, like, do that math. You can no longer become weakened. I guess that's not that amazing. Hmm, I think we're fine. Oh, nice. Random merchant, hello. Obtain an additional copy of card in your deck. Start each with one dexterity. We can take another enlightenment. Uh, gain six block. You know what? Let's get rid of these. Oh, but this is going to lose me three HP, man. We still have another floor to go through. I can't really do that. <laughs> I can't really do that. Is there another copy I'd want to make? I can make another Electrodynamics Plus. It's been working out great for us. Or do we have, uh, we have a free upgrade next. So I could take, like, I could take Enlightenment and upgrade that again. Have two of them. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I'll try and use this much better. Okay, now, 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 now. We're gonna seek in, we're gonna bring in an Amplify. And a Meteor Strike. Uh, 
Okay. We're gonna go Enlightenment. I'm gonna channel this in first. So we get the, the plasma flowing and the energy flowing. Then we go uh, pump this one through, which is gonna evoke all of the plasma. So I'll have a bunch of energy built up. And then maybe even consume. I don't know if do we wanna lose that orb slot? It's tough. Okay, so we have a bunch of energy here. The nice thing about losing the orb slot is that they get evoked more often, but they do less passive damage. And I think in a longer fight, we probably want more passive damage. But we have the focus as well. Um, you know what? Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's just get all this focus up as high as we can. I don't need to use this. If we exhaust it, though, we do get a random card. Nah, eh, I think we save it. Hmm. Alright. So we'll enlightenment on these. Nice, we got the pl we've got the uh, incense triggering at a great time. We have a bunch of lightning channeled in already. Um, none of these get exhausted. We're going to block all of this so we'll get um, two buffers. Yeah, I kind of regret reducing our orb slots here. We do have a card that... Um, yeah, this one here, Fission. Which could help us gain the orb slots back. Oh, this is... Yeah, this is random. But it could kill some of these. I'm going to play it. Didn't quite get that mixture we were hoping for. There we go, baby. Alright. That was the uh, the loop kicking in nicely there. So I think I go Fission here to get the orb slots back up. What card would I want to bring in? Hmm. Probably Electrodynamics. Random self-repair, which is completely useless at this point. Uh, but let's bring this in. Wait, do I have a... C I don't have the Seek Plus in here. In 13 block and retain this card. That's kind of cool, but... I should actually almost play this. So we guarantee have block for next turn. We do have um, the buffers, but... Um, we want to take the random power card now? Or just save all this energy? I think we should save it. What's coming up next? I could be a little bit light on blocking. This card's going to be wasted here anyway. I think I'm going to do this so that I keep that card. If I play this one, we're still going to have the three extra. But I think let's just stack. Let's let's just wait here. All right. So hyper beam, 25 across the board, but we lose three focus, which we can kind of afford. If I evoke this guy, that's 120 damage. 
uh, to random enemies. Ooh. We don't have Echo Form played yet. I'm gonna do this. Now if I multicast this, 9 times 16, that's a lot of damage. And actually it's hitting everything. Right? Because of <laughs> because of Electro. Yeah. I gotta remember that, man. Got to, got to. Alright. Okay, what do we want to take here? Hmm. You know what I think I'm going to add, if I can, is more Seeks. Because once they get exhausted, I mean, it's kind of sad. Um, do I want to take more buffers here? Because we're getting really low on, on HP. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Elites drop an additional Relic when defeated. Gain energy at the start, but you can no longer Smith, so no more upgrades. Or, start each with one Plasma. You know what? I'm going to take that straight away. All right, what's our path here? Where's the store? So we have stores on this side. We can't really stop at a store now. It's not going to help us much. Uh, so let's maybe question mark our way through here. And then... Uh, if we go on this left side, that's still a couple of elites. Okay. Okay. So now, I'm gonna seek. We bring in... Is it still worth for me to bring in Enlightenment here? Not really. It's only really worth it if I want to play uh, Meteor Strike. Which, I could argue I kind of do. But I like getting the double Electrodynamics going as well. Uh, but what this sets us up for, I'm gonna, I'm gonna experiment a little bit here. I'm gonna do this again. We'll do this. Kill one outright. Gain a bunch of energy that we can carry over. Let's go, uh, let's go machine learning as well. All right. We'll go Enlightenment. I'm going to try it this way. And then we can bring in all of this. I need to kind of block something, don't I? 22 damage. Uh, I could reboot here. I think I'm going to do this. Let's reboot. Whenever you play a power card, draw one card. I don't have any powers in here. Auto shields isn't going to do anything for me. This will hit dark, though. This is a whole two damage. Uh, but I can block it all, at least. Well, yeah, there we go. Interesting combos, man. It's interesting combos. Remove all block from an enemy. Could be good. Could be good against the right guy. And it's upgraded. Mm, I'm gonna skip it. Enter the portal, immediately travel to the boss. Oh, what? I've never seen this before. Swirling magical portal. Now, what's cool about this is you get to go and fight the boss right now. 
What's bad about this is score, but the other thing is with this uh, HP, uh, let's just do the math here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we'd be down to like 15 HP. This is the, uh, the time guy again, which is really scary, but manageable. But it's a huge risk. It's a huge risk. And the greedy side of me is like, well, I could get better score if I go through it. I'm gonna go through it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. I'm gonna seek. We have the incense uh, pot hitting here. Um, I'm gonna go in this in this situation, I'm gonna go enlightenment and meteor strike. Because we have echo form in here, enlightenment is really good. So now I can play this. Electrodynamics. We can basically kill one. We have a whole bunch of energy ready. Um, let's go here. And then we're going to block that, so that's fine. And then let's see. We don't really want to multicast. Let's do this. I'm just trying to avoid the thorns. All right. Deal three damage and apply one vulnerable. Uh, rebound. Place the next card you play this turn on top of your draw pile. I'm trying to think of... So I play that card, then I play, like, Meteor Strike or something, which we've reduced. Could be kind of cool. Or I play that and then play... something like Enlightenment, so it comes back next turn. I can see some possibilities there. Just depends on the draw. Okay. Let's do, uh... We'll use this Seek to bring in Enlightenment. This Seek to bring in... To bring in Amplify and Meteor Strike. Now we make everything cheap. And I think what I do here... Amplify... Electrodynamics... Then we go... Meteor Strike to kill... Everything. <laughs> Some of them I can't even see yet, you know? Chill is pretty nice to start with. Um, against big groups, that's not bad. And even if we evoke them out right away, it builds up a lot of block at the start. And usually if it's a group, they are attacking. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Lose all gold, get a relic. I think I want to keep control of what I'm spending gold on. Because we are going to hit a store up here. Okay, big boy. So we need to get some block going. Top four cards of your draw pile, we may discard any of them. Maybe we play that at the end. So if I bring in Amplify and Electro again, that opens us up to take a bit of damage, because uh, we don't have Enlightenment here. How much is he hitting for? 18. 
So I think... And it's six, no, it's six by three, which really sucks, actually. Bringing in a reboot is kind of interesting. Um... I think I, I do need to block here. I have boot sequence, actually. We don't need to block that much. And we'll probably evoke that other one. Yeah, okay. So let's go, uh... Enlightenment. And... Amplify. Okay, so we can cycle through a bunch of stuff here. Let's gain the focus. We'll go... Uh, Rainbow. This is also building up the block. Double Electrodynamics. And then... We definitely block here. And let's see what our next things are. Anything we want to ditch? I think buffer is pretty safe. Maybe cool headed. Maybe fission. I think I'm just gonna ditch cool headed. I'm gonna save the energy. All right. 40. Holy moly. That's insane. That's insane. That's... Well, okay. So we definitely buffer. <laughs> right? We definitely just buffer here. Um... And deal some damage. Which isn't, like, that amazing. We could evoke these and then replace them. Or, uh, add the extra slots. But I don't know if that's in our best interest right now. Oh, he's got, uh... Did he have that on before or did he just take that? It's reapplied every other turn. Frick. Um... Yeah, it's fine. Okay, now we have intangible, but he's not attacking, unfortunately. It's kind of a bummer. I could rebound, uh, use Seek. And then have Seek again for next turn. Maybe I want uh, Bias Cognition in here. Yep. Oh, another one. Place the next card you play this turn on top of your draw pile. Okay. So we can play that again next turn. And then we just be patient here. He's got the intangible. So we need to block again, which is fine. We've got the buffers. If I evoke this, though, 13 times 8? Oh, yeah, but he's got, uh, he's got this, so it's pretty much all we want to do is buffer. And we'll draw an extra card. All right. And, oh, perfect enlightenment draw right there. Symbiotic Virus. Channel a dark at the beginning. I'll take that. And we'll pass on these. Okay. Do we want to upgrade or fight? I think we want to upgrade. What would we upgrade, though? I think we upgrade our other Seek card. I think. Yeah. I think we upgrade the other Seek card.
or I upgrade our other buffer card. Because we always are guaranteeing that we're starting with a with a seek, and we could do like uh, seek amplify buffer, and that's four that's four um, buffers, which is really good in like dire situations. I'm gonna take that. Okay, we need to output serious amounts of damage here. Serious amounts of damage. All right, so let's do this. Let's go. Uh, We'll go... Do we have an Enlightenment? No, we don't. So I need to grab an Enlightenment. And a Meteor Strike. He's hitting for 13 here. We can, we can apply the block. What do I want to come in last? I think I want the uh, lightning to be sitting there at the end of it. You know what I should have done? I, I don't really want to exhaust this. Ten percent more from attacks. Yeah, I probably should have waited on that, but... Yeah. Okay. I could do rainbow and then electrodynamics. Because it's exhausting, so we're drawing more too, which isn't too bad. Yeah, I think we just go Electrodynamics here. And then we have the block. We don't even need to play this. I can't exhaust something to draw another card, but I think we just set them up for, like, the bigger stuff. So I could seek in a really expensive card here. Like uh, Thunderstrike or even Echo Form. It's not like we don't have the. Yeah, I think Echo Form we bring in. Then go Enlightenment. Oh, we got double energy. That is so disgustingly good. Um, let's do that now. Echo Form. We can throw up the buffer. This is gonna- we're gonna lose 2 HP here. But we'll throw our regen on, so we get that back. I don't want a Hyper Beam. So if I multicast this... Hold on. We would evoke this, uh, 8 times 29 times 2. Is that enough to kill this guy? I'm actually going to open up a calculator. 8 times 29 times 2. 464. Come on, baby. Please tell me I didn't screw up my math. <laughs> What if we did that and he had, like, an intangible or something? Oh my god. Be devastated. But that sequence was pretty cool, man. If we could get a double energy card... At the start of each turn, if you took any damage, trigger the passive ability of all your orbs. Okay. Ugh. Oh, man. So good. Both of these are so good. I do think buffers are saving our ass, though, against, like, some crazy stuff, so... This with, like, some enlightenments and upgraded. Alright, what path do we want to take here? I think we'll go through this way. Whenever you add a skill card, it's upgraded. Fine. Fine. 
All right. This isn't bad. Get this block on. For the next... Deal nine damage. For the next two turns, lightning and dark orbs target this enemy. Hmm. I think we'll do the same combo we've been doing, where we go, um, Enlightenment, and bring in Meteor Strike with the with that one, and then I'll bring in Amplify. So throw that down. Channeling some of these Frost in isn't bad, so we get this full block off. Then we get all of this in. And then Meteor Strike. Close to killing. You know what? Let's just do this. We'll throw Self Repair down as well. In case we do end up taking damage. So if we go Rebound and Electrodynamics, that'll come back through again. We'll have a bunch of energy building up. I'm gonna do this. Oh, I should have did this. Oh, actually, this is fine. They still do the five, but I could have screwed that up big time. If you end your turn without block, gain six. Plus, we have the, the uh, plated armor, so that's 11 block. 10 damage across the board. Ooh. Ooh. Multicast plus, very tempting. That extra one, I don't know if that makes a huge difference. Reboot plus is fine-ish. Because this is based on us building up a bunch of energy anyway. All right, give me something nice here. We can start combat with block. But that kind of replaces the Auric Alchem. Uh, Panache could be really good here. Panache could be cool. Every time you play five cards in a single turn, deal 10 damage to all enemies. That could be really nice. Start each combat with an extra focus. Gain six block whenever you shuffle your draw pile. I'm kind of looking at Data Disc and Panache. We would have enough. I'm doing it. There's cards I could probably be removing, like... Uh Man, this screen always lags for me. Creative AI, I just feel like underwhelmed, but... Okay. I think we go here and we go take the safe route instead of this elite. Alright, what do I want? What's Panache? 14 damage to all enemies. Oh no, let's do the buffer again. Let's get the buffer up. Do we just go to town here? Or do we play it safe? We've come so far. We've come so far. Oh no. Lose Panache, lose Core Surge. Ooh. I guess we lose Auto Shields because uh, we basically have 11 block to... S well... The Artifact... I guess doesn't impact us as much. All right. This dude is still pretty capable of being a pain. All right, do we just bring in, uh, maybe we bring in Amplify. And Panache. Or maybe just bring Amplify and <laughs> Echo Form. Let's do that this time. Got a Turbo, which isn't bad. If I play Amplify into Echo Form, every we get to two cards that get double played at the beginning, which is kind of dirty.
And then... We'll go Electrodynamics here. And then let's do this as well. We're adding the Void, but... I'm okay with the extra energy coming in. Can no longer become weakened. Yeah, alright, cool. So we could do, uh... Buffer. So now we have... Now we have tons of buffer here. That's a really good one as well. Because we... <laughs> because of the Amplify and the Echo... The double Echo form, that's actually disgusting. We have more Electrodynamics coming up, so Fission could work here. Uh, this is free, so let's go and keep drawing. And this is irrelevant. Because we're going to take the damage anyway. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. Echo form and buffers, guys. I'm seeing the possibilities. If I play this, it gets played twice, which sucks. Um... This would get played twice. So the next two cards we place go on top. It's kind of interesting. So if I do that... Then, I play Buffer, which gets played twice. And it's going to be drawn next time. That's pretty cool. Let's do this one. Like, so much buffer buildup. This triggering twice could be interesting in the right scenario. But we definitely need to just bring in orbs now. So now we have double panache. That should deal 20. Yeah, okay, good. I won't be able to get it, pull it off here, I don't think. But this is fine. Yeah, I'm really, th I'm, what I'm thinking of is like, how am I setting up for the boss and dealing with the, uh, all the, all the, um, buffer stuff, right? Let's just save the energy. If we get this off early, this combo is really nice. I'm seeing the... I'm seeing how strong it can be. Uh, what do we want to bring in here? Do we want to seek in, like, uh... Bias Cognition, probably? This is gonna get played twice, so I get to bring in two things. So I think what I'll do is go uh, Bias Cognition to play that twice from Double Echo form. Then we go Enlightenment, Meteor Strike, and uh, yeah, Hyper Beam, sure. There we go. All right. Gain five max HP. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's really good. Okay. Uh, I can have double blocks at the beginning. 14 damage to all enemies and channel of dark. I think I'm going to pass. I think I'm going to pass. Okay, what do we upgrade here? What is going to be really helpful? Meteor Strike? Not really. Maybe Amplify Plus? 
So we could bring that in at the beginning and play this. Maybe I maybe I have to bring in Echo Form. So maybe I upgrade Echo Form so that I can bring it in at the beginning, even if I can't play it, so that I can guarantee... Well, no, but that doesn't really help me because I'm not retaining it, you know? God, it would be so good if I just had, like, one energy card that gave me instant energy. Like, double energy would be so good. It would be so good. Hmm. I get the appeal of Panache, but against that time, dude, I don't know if it's, like, the best thing. I guess, you know what? I could see the value in recycling. Because I could bring that in along with, like, uh, Meteor Strike or something at the very beginning. And sacrifice it to play a bunch of other stuff, but it depends on, like, it depends on what the draws are. Ugh, it's such a tough decision. Such a tough decision. But, um... I think I have to make sure that I can try to get Echo Form off at some point. So I'm going to make sure that it's not ethereal. Who knows? Alright. So only 12 cards per round. Um... So let's see how we want to do this. We got seven to start. So I'm uh, our next turn we're gonna hit incense burner as well. So I wanna bring in. Okay, he's coming in with 26, right? But I'm definitely gonna play buffer. But I could bring in like. Let me see. I think I could bring in Amplify and Echo Form. Play both of those. And buffer and electrodynamics. And like that's setting us up pretty well. Amplify. Echo form. Skim. Draw three cards. Ooh, that's tempting. Hold on. This is four, five, six. I would really like to get this in here. Let me drink this. We have the block here, but the buffer is going to take care of it. If I do this, and I I won't be able to play Electrodynamics, which I'd really like to play. Let's see. Uh, we're going to go double Echo Form. Then we play Buffer, so we just take care of this. What could help me here? If I got... Uh, if I was able to pull... A Recycle, that would be very nice so I could get Electrodynamics going. I also have... Um, chill. And Boot Sequence. I don't think I have enough... Actually, yeah, I do have enough to block all of this. And not waste, um, not waste the buffers. Ooh, force field. Yeah, okay, let's do this. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. If I drink this potion, I go up to 25 plus the plated armor, so that should be fine. Or I can just play this one, because it's going to get gone, it's going to go away anyway. But then I have to not carry over energy. But this is free later. Ah, it's a tough call, man. It's a tough call. I'm going to play this one, because I don't know when it's going to come back. This one I always have. Not going to carry energy over, but we do have a Plasma. Alright. So what do we want to be played twice here? We're going to block all of this with just the uh, plated armor. Um, I guess we want to do, like, the double frost. Only because we want to draw cards. Okay. 
I have two more cards I can play here. Two more only. Uh... Hmm. And I want to play two cards. Oh, sorry. Maybe I... Oh, right, because it's double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. All right, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. So first two cards played twice. So Electrodynamics kicking in would be pretty good. Uh, ooh, Fission could be really disgusting. If I evoke all of these twice, and then bring this in twice, and then we do this twice... Uh, we would tank some damage, but we could block one of the attacks, and then this would be protected by buffer. And then we're definitely going to have more buffers coming up. Um, that we can play for extra. So let's play this twice. Oh, I guess, okay. Yeah, I guess because it does it in sequence. Yeah, okay, interesting. But that's fine, because we can fill these slots now with lightning. We can play this to draw some cards. Oh, no, I can't. That double, the double echo form is screwing up my counts. Let's go uh, machine learning. Let's do this. I guess panache. We'll go Loop, Glacier, Ball Lightning, and Force Field for 12. Not bad. Not bad, and we still have the buffers. We still have the buffers being played. Um, if I play Enlightenment first, it kind of gets wasted because of the double play. But, it means that I will still be able to get double buffer off, double electrodynamics, no, not double electrodynamics. So maybe I don't play Enlightenment here. Yeah, let's just go double buffer. Get up to six. Double dynamics. I mean, I could bring in like a... Uh... Oh no, I don't have the, the reset or the reboot. That's disc, that's exhausted, right? Yeah, reboots get exhausted. Is there anything else I can bring in? Not really. I mean, this would get exhausted so I get something random. Um, but I will get 10 damage in if I do something. This is going to get wasted anyway. It's just going to go. So I may as well take the 10 damage. Okay, 16 by 3. Okay, so, what do we want to bring back next time? What would be really good? Force field honestly isn't that bad at this point. Um, but enlightenment with some of these extra cards could be nice. Even though we'd have to play it first. So we're going to play this, and then the next two cards will come back up. So we'll go enlightenment like this. And then this card will come back. I kind of want to just play both of these so we end our turn. I maybe didn't do that in a great order there, but... Okay, we're down to three Echo Forms. Hmm. 
this is a lot of damage here. And it gets played twice. Um... If I do Enlightenment on it, it's kind of wasted again. But it makes this way cheaper. And since he's not attacking me, I think I'm kind of okay with this. I could draw two more cards here, actually. This would get played twice. Ooh, interesting. I'm going to play this twice. It's so much damage. I can't pass it up. I honestly think that was worth it. <laughs> uh, nine times two. It's not bad, but I think we just, I think we just save it. What's coming up? Some expensive cards. Hmm. Let's do this. If I would have, I could just use the potion. Yeah, we're going to be fine here, guys. Believe it or not. Look at all this focus coming in. He's so dead! <laughs> He's so dead! Alright, GG guys. We did it. It was a long run! Holy moly, guacamole. But we did it. That was a tough one. I had to think a lot about that. I had to think a lot about that. How's our score? Not bad. Eh, it's not amazing. But it's not bad. I'm I'm happy with that. For me, somebody who's like in the position that I'm in, I'm happy with that, man. Oh, what is this? What is this unknown junk? Top thousand. I mean, okay, that's not amazing, but I still feel good that I just beat it. You know what I mean? Because that terminal really scares me, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a long one. If you made it this far, hey, kudos to you. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Wish me luck. Bye.